Hi, my name is Stephen Parton and I'm an application engineer here at Carolina Motion Control. In today's demonstration, I will be showing the basic setup of the Unidrive M700 family in RFC-S mode or servo mode. We have a Uni motor, an 067 Uni motor HD with an indent encoder and I will go through setting up basic information such as poles, current, and rated speed of the motor, then setting up the feedback information. Next, we will perform a rotating auto-tune of the motor, which will get basic information necessary for control of the motor. The motor must be unloaded during auto-tune in order to get accurate results. Finally, we are going to put the drive into keypad mode and run the drive from, run the motor from the keypad. And we will do this to verify that everything is set up properly. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we want to do is set menu 48 to RFCS mode. If you're already in RFCS, then our next step will be to enter in a 1244. Um, if you're in a different mode, such as open loop, RFCA, regen, um, you will enter in RFCS. And then we'll come back up here to menu zero, parameter zero and enter in 1254. But in our case, we're already set up in RFCS, so we're entering a 1244. This will reset our drive to US defaults. Press that. Reset. Now we do have a program running in our drive, so we're gonna come over here to 11. This is uh, an onboard program. So we're gonna come down to 1147. And we'll return this to stop. And that will cut off our. So we always do a save in the drive. Make sure we save all of our parameters. So we'll come back here to menu zero, parameter zero. We're going to go down, RFCS mode. So we're going to enter in our motor, da motor current data into 46. So we have a 1.6 amp motor. So menu 46 will be our motor rated current. Menu 45 will be the rated speed. That's already correct. We have a 3000 RPM motor. Rated voltage of the motor. So we have a 230 volt motor. That's correct. Phase angle, we will determine that during an auto tune. Six poles, we have a 10 pole motor. So we're gonna change this to 10 poles. And six kilohertz, that's fine for our application. So we'll come back up here, save parameters into the drive. And the next thing we're going to do is setting up the feedback information. So we'll proceed to setting up a feedback type. This will be menu 3, parameter 38. Currently it's AB servo. And if you can see down here, we, it says we have a trip. That's because the drive keeps looking for that AB servo signals. But it, that's not what we have. We have an indent encoder. So we can then hit that red reset button as we, as we can see our fault has disappeared. We do have a 5 volt encoder. Um, you would set that up in menu 3 parameter 36. 300k. All that's fine. Uh, if you do have the ability to spin the motor, if you look at parameter 3.29 and rotate the motor in one revolution, you should see the counts go from 0 to 65, 536 and then roll over. So right now we can see we're right there at that rollover point. So if we rotate our motor shaft one revolution, you can see it went from zero all the way up 65, 5, 36, and is rolled back over. And we're back at this one rev position. So that's an easy, quick way to determine that we've you set up your encoder counts correctly. So we'll come back over here to menu zero, parameter zero, and we'll scroll down to parameter 40. We will put in a two. This will be for a rotating auto tune. If you wanted to do a stationary, you do a one. Always, uh, always as best you can, do a two, and then make sure the motor is unloaded during the auto tune. So we'll jump back up here. We'll put the motor into keypad mode. That way we can initiate our auto tune and control our motor without ever wiring any inputs. So currently, we can see our motor is inhibited. We will have to wire. Now that the drive's inhibited, can then give the enable signal 
and select the run button and our auto tune is in progress. We are doing the rotating auto tune so the motor is rotating. Once the auto tune is complete, our drive goes back to inhibit. If we want to re enable the drive, we will have to toggle our enable signal back. So now you can see we are stopped. So we've already been set up in the keypad mode, so we can hit the run button. And now we are able to give the reference in RPM to the motor. With our motor rotating, we can press the red reset button to stop it. 